Okanek, because Okanek is the the um, the applauding platform when it comes on to web conferencing. The only 4K web conferencing. Um, however, we are the only one that produces 4K. Only one, right? And when you talk about 4K, you're, you're really talking about some, some weird, high, high definition uh, platform, right? And so therefore, with our 4K platform, every, it's as if every day new features are added, all right? And, um, and so as, as Queen Kanla came on this morning, um, which was, you know, um, a little while she was a little um, away and she came this morning and she was blown away because there were some features that was totally different um, in respective to looking at how many persons were on the webinar and so you know she was guided um, correctly as to how that really worked right and so therefore we are going to deep dive into Oconnect in respective to where um, Marie Pendy. Marie Pendy. Oh yeah, okay, right. Oh not Kanla. Marie Pendy Pendy. Okay, wonderful. All right. And and so and so yes, if you are out of the loop a little a little bit, just a little bit, like Marie Pendy, <laughs> you know, um you can be very much lost when it comes down to just this one product, Oconnect. Because Oconnect is awesome. And unlike others, it is a new feature coming on within a wink. So, yes, um, you might use, you know, the raw link um, as well as you might use uh, the link that comes with the raw link when you create, when the link was created, when you created that webinar platform. Um, as well as you might go in back in again into Otrim and personalize your um, your webinar platform link and just like in dream team it is personalized to, to win it uh, so we don't have to keep sending out sending out like this morning like today the the link was not working correctly and and Gen a generated webinar was done uh, but because it's the same it's the same personalized then you didn't have to be sending out back the link again uh, we just kind of edit it in Otrim and people click back on the link again the same to win it um, link again and it worked right some people might use QR code um, and that's another feature of Otrim and that is so awesome, definitely. But whatever way you did it, whether you click on the raw link, the link that was sent by your webinar platform when you created it, or if you personalize it, or if you click on the QR code, uh, you are supposed to come to the where to redirect you to this screen where you continue by using browser. Um, I'm not sure if the app is working properly right now so don't hold me to that but you click on the continue using browser and of course it brings you to this page where you are waiting if you are early you'll be waiting on on the host to start the meeting and the host will start the meeting and of course by clicking on this this is how the host view look and when the host start the meeting it will come to um this page where this was what we were telling uh, well dr patience now was telling marie pendy that she needs to click on this toggle it's a um gray to blue toggle that when you click on it it gives you the view of speakers right and the views of speaker help you to know how many people is in the webinar etc 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 the the, the co-host no not the co-host the host the host will get that view and the 
the main host and the secondary host because you can have two hosts right um the only platform i know that you can have two hosts to host the meeting the only platform i know that you can transfer your host to another person and that person could be able to conduct your meeting if you are not available something that other platform don't have all right um and so therefore um this these features are awesome all right there are three different platform when it comes on to when it comes on to um Oconnect, right first you have the participant platform the participant platform is a listen only mode listen only um you cannot speak there's no mic um etc etc uh so you only can listen and the way to do that is to click on the speaker you have to you know shape your mouse a little move your mouse a little and then this um quarter um lower third will appear and you click on that speaker at the bottom left when you click on that speaker that is when you are able to hear what is happening in a meeting if you don't click on that speaker in the bottom left then you will not hear what is happening in the meeting and that is in present uh, participant mode right so let us look quickly now at a few features also in participant mode at the top right you have the full screen full screen where you cut out all of the browser um, thing at the top so all of that it will be just the Oconnect on your screen um, especially if you are using a computer right um, also you can click on the view full view so that it gives you the full view of O uh, Connect, right? In in addition to that, now. In addition to that, you have right that 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 little trouble where you can have that speaker view um, for you, right? At the bottom left going from left to right the full the right down to the bottom we have the chat that is a chat feature that allows you to correspond with everybody in the meeting um beside that you have the prompter right that allows you to type things or upload things like a word document or whatever that you would like to speak about um you know so that you can be fluent in what you are speaking about so that you don't leave out anything that you want to address uh, whether it's a meeting or a webinar beside that to the right you have capture where you can take a picture of the screen um, that is in front of you beside that to the right you have emoji where of course when you click on emoji um, those things that comes up at the left hand side of the screen floating those are how our emojis work and of course you can click on leave and leave the meeting right so that would be um our our last button uh, when it comes on to participant then um, you have the speaker view and with the speaker view and the the speaker view and the the host view and the co-host view especially the host and the co-host most of it is inside of this view 
So with the co with the co-host and host, right? This is uh, kind of how it looks now. Where again, the speaker view is just clicking at this little uh, button here that slides across and from gray to blue, and you get that bar at the top with all the avatars of the different persons in the in the meeting what oconnect does is that it takes the picture from your ecosystem that if you put up a picture there then you will see if you didn't put up a picture then that is why you don't see a picture there for yourself so you'd have to go into your um, ecosystem and into your profile and upload a picture so that you know if you want your picture to be up there all right so in addition we have beside that toggle you have the webinar timer the webinar timer helps you to know how long the meeting has been going on if you just join the meeting or if you join the meeting late it tells you how long the meeting has been going on for already. So that helps you to understand um, how much of the meeting you missed. So the webinar timer, I think that that's a great feature and that was added recently. Web, webinar lock. So suppose you want to lock your meeting, right? Um, for whatever reason, you want to lock your meeting. That, and that is just for the host the host can lock the meeting so that nobody else can join the meeting. Then beside that, to the right, we have break time. Break time. And you might wonder, why would you have a break time? Well, yes, um, sometime a meeting, a meeting might be going on for, you know, hours. And so the CEO or the person in the meeting say all right take a break it might be even a bible class and it's going on for a couple hours and you want to take a break the host can set up that meeting that break time so that instead of logging out of the meeting closing the meeting and start back the meeting again just click on that break time give you you choose what however long time you want to give whether 15 20 30 whatever minutes amount of time you want to give that can be done right there to give that break time remember this is also the platform very important this is also the platform for academy and of course in academy it is going to be used for schools right and so using academy in schools definitely you have break time so you don't have to close the meet the session and then start the session again and close and start you know you can set it up break time boom come off break time you are there again and same break time you can use it for lunch time right some schools give break time about 10 10 30 and then lunch time about 12. so you know you can use that break time for those two convenient times um, that you want to give a break right doing a board meeting board meeting might be going over into a few hours now break time again so break time is very important bottom line very important all right the next one beside that one is your settings that is your audio settings and your video setting that is where you go and look and make sure that the right mic is selected and the right camera is selected right so those are the two settings that is in settings the mic microphone and your camera some of the time you have to just click on that and make sure the right mic is selected and the right camera is selected to the right of that you have full view and basically this is what you are seeing now um, on your screen this is the full view um, there is no 
web browser information at the top, um, et cetera, et cetera. Right? So that is full view. That is a view that you need to be in, especially if you are on a computer and some things seem to be, be shrinking and don't look nice and full. Well, that is because you're not in full view. Beside that, to the right, of course, you have um, what is known as network strength. The network strength give you um, what signal you are getting on your network. And your network is your home network, not on passive network. Your home network strength, right? So if you are seeing one bar, you know that your home network strength is not too good. If you are seeing two bars, then you know, yeah, it's, it's all right. It might pull the little weight. If you are seeing three bars, as you are seeing now um, on this presentation, then you're, you know your network strength is awesome. Okay, beautiful, right? And so you need to ensure that that is um, a note of yours, key note of yours. All right, let us deal with the few buttons at the bottom. From the left to right, bottom left, we have the presentation button. The presentation button allows you to give a presentation. So whether you have a PowerPoint or you have a Word document or you have a uh, PDF document, etc. Now that is where you go, click and load that document so you can show what you are showing. Now I did not do that in this case. All right. So, yes, um, you know, I have two screens. I have two screens, right? So, um, this is kind of more that has to do with share screen. So, I am more using share screen than presentation mode, right? So, presentation mode look a little different, um, et cetera, et cetera, right? But that is your presentation mode where you really load up your your presentations to present in Okane. To the right, you have whiteboard. And whiteboard, you know, you can write anything. It's just like blackboard for those of us who are from the Caribbean. We know the blackboard days with chalk. <laughs> hey! Um, chalk. And, um, and, and if you go a little further back, we have lead pencil and slate. Uh, oh my goodness, all right, that's not how old I am still, but anyway. All right, so you have whiteboard, and to the right of that, you have video, where you can load up your videos, and you can also bring videos with the URL straight from YouTube or wherever those videos are embedded, right? You can also just put the, the URL right in there, and it will play in that video mode. Beside that to the right, you have poll, where you can take a poll of whatever, you know, you want to take a poll for, right? How many people have created a webinar, right? And you put that in your poll and you take a poll. To the right of that is your question and answer um, section, where, yes, people just ask questions and answers are given to the right of that you have call to action and push a link both of them is kind of the same with a little bit more features when it comes down to call to action a lot well a lot more features right and um, push a link uh it's just it's straightforward then beside to the right of that you have chat right where you actually can engage in chat which is different from q a to the right of that and this is only for the main host only for the main host the co-host and the secondary host do not see the start recording button where you can physically start recording the webinar and beside that to the right you have screen share now this is the feature that i am using presently and my my screen share because my primary screen is not crowded 
I have a secondary screen where the presentation is on my secondary screen and and so I'm able to manipulate a little bit more better so um, I will recommend that especially if you are using screen share um, to do a presentation please have more than one screens right that is extending not duplicating extending right so the secondary screen is different from your primary screen right it's like having two screens on one computer right beside that to the right you have mic right and you mute your mic and unmute your mic to the right of that you have cam or camera where you can be able to see um, our people can be able to see you on the screen to the right of that you have add attendee where um host can actually add persons to the meeting um right from there by sending the link right through there to that person's email address not to whatsapp and those things just to email for right now all right um in addition to that to the right of that right to the right of that you have ai vba that is artificial intelligence with um virtual background and as ash mufara said our virtual background will not be only static you will also have videos you'll be you will also have animations and you will be also able to upload your own virtual background awesome awesome all of that is coming soon right beside that to the right you have theme right now this theme that i have is um the ai theme and you have many other themes you have even celebration themes and all of those lovely things right to the right of that you have bgm which is background music where recently added you can actually add your own background music that can be played um while you know you are doing a presentation you know nice soft music in the background lovely feature right you can also upload your own um background music it has to be in mp3 format uh, so please take a note of that if you are recording um your background music it needs to be in mp3 right just to for you to take note of that all right in addition to that beside to the right um you have prompter and yes your prompter is the same prompter as what we saw in the other um feature in the other part of the platform right which you can actually load up a word document you know you might write out your your speech or you might write out your sermons um you know if you're a minister you might have the song because you don't really know all the words for the song because you, you went to the singing and you have the song written out right here and put up on your prompter so you will be looking at the screen looking towards your camera instead of looking down on a piece of paper right um and so therefore all of that is very very important right so prompter awesome feature awesome to the right of that you have the timer and the timer is maybe giving me the time that i need to wrap up this presentation uh, <laughs> so uh, the person will see the time going and that the person need to wrap up the presentation in that time um, so that we can move on right beside that um, to the right is your calculator where you have a calculator right there in the presentation where you know especially if it's a um, financial present a financial meeting um, of some sort then your calculator is right there inside the meeting so everyone can see what is being calculated right to the right of that capture also to capture the meeting if you want to the right of that we have emojis 
and to the right of that you have resound. Now resound, just like you heard um, earlier, when the mindset was done, it was completed, someone did a clapping that came from resound. The only platform that I know have resound. You can also upload your own resound, and of course, resound has to be also in MP3, right? So ensure that that is the format that you have your resound, right? And to the right of that, second to last, you have the ticker, and um, you know, the ticker is that thing that run to the bottom of the screen. You type up what you want and it runs at the bottom, the lower third bottom of the screen um, to whatever you want in words. Maybe it's a notice, maybe it's something you want to say to everyone while the meeting is going on uh, repeatedly, right? Because it runs at the bottom of the screen in a loop format, right? And then to the right of that is either leave or end the meeting for the host. It will be end meeting. Um, everyone else, you can leave the meeting. All right. So that is basically the new format uh, of OConnect because, as I said, um, almost every day now, new features. So if you are you, you have left um, for a couple of weeks, then you know OConnect is a brand spanking new. Uh, features uh, that has been added for the past two weeks. So thank you very much.